Uh, and just as I was saying, the bush will prove me wrong. Look at the hyena out of the den. The two little cubs with the adult. That is amazing. It's the first time I've seen them now since I've been been back. So I'm so happy that uh, that we did find them out. And as I said, there were tracks heading here. So I was getting excited, but I didn't want to count my hyenas before they hatched. <laughs> but luckily, they are out at the moment and busy suckling. They are fascinating animals, hyena. I mean, they've got a bit of a bad reputation, and I think uh, the Lion King is to blame a little bit, but <laughs> but they, they are fascinating animals, and they are very caring, especially of the young. However, it's not always easy for hyena. I've seen how aggressive these little cubs can be towards one another, especially there's one runt of the litter. Um, they, do get, they do get very aggressive and they fight for, for milk from the adult and that uh, that often causes one of them to die now I, it's, I just see the two here so I'm assuming that it's just the two that this female has given birth to they can give birth um, between one uh, two between one and three uh, cubs That's usually the average between all oh, between one and three Oh, this is so, so great. I'm so happy that we found him out in the open. Like I said, it's it's strange, and you, you can never tell. You know, I've in the past, I've gone to many hyena den sites, and they, um, early in the morning, you think you're going to find something, you don't find anything, and as the morning starts to warm up, you see you see the the adults return, and the cubs come out and play and suckle. And then other times, like this morning, still very, very early, it's overcast, it's misty, and then they're out in the open, so. It just shows you, you can never, never tell what's going to happen. Now Stanley, so we refer to, there's, there's a big de debate that's gone on for a while, whether we refer to the hyena young as cubs or pups. So the the correct term is actually cubs. Uh, we refer to them as hyena cubs. Some people might argue with me, but um, all the research that we've done and that we um, and that we've read, we refer to them as cubs. And you, I mean, let's we can double check with uh, Brent and Jamie what they call them interested to see but I'm almost certain both of them will also call them cubs yeah they do indeed they also call them cubs so as I said there are there, there has been a bit of debate about what we call them but the correct term is cubs um, so hyena cubs Abigail, um, with the hyena, the cubs will suckle for uh, it, it's, uh, kind of the average age for a predator, which is, you know, anywhere between th three months to uh, about, about five or six months, and that's how long they will suckle for. They will start feeding on meat, though, from an early age. So from about two months, the, the adults occasionally bring little bits and pieces of meat back to the den and these cubs will feed on it but they will still want to suckle from their mothers so the, it's, it's that, that gap of around three to five or six months um, sometimes you see the youngsters they still try their luck like any predators, lion and leopard they still try their luck a little bit even when they're older to try and get some nutrients from their mother and they will still try and suckle but that's about the average age that they stop suckling. It was very peaceful at the moment and I'm not sure, I think you can hear some of the sounds around us, but there's a Cape turtle dove calling, the monotonous larks are still calling. I can hear in the distance, a very faint call of the Karachan button quail, 
Very interesting sound. I think it's a perfect sound for the type of weather we're having at the moment. Abigail, I have absolutely no idea what the gender of the cubs are. Um, I, oh, let's see. Abigail, can I tell you a secret? Is I, I actually struggle to tell the gender between uh, a female and male hyena when they're just walking around. And I think anybody who just has a look at them and claims it's a male or female, I think a lot of time they're taking a guess. It's very difficult. Unless you see teats on the female, the, um, if she is... Um, suckling youngsters you'll be able to see the teats very clearly um, otherwise it's very difficult to tell the difference between male and female hyena especially as I said if you just see them walking through the bush usually the females are much larger than the males so there is a size difference uh, because there is a bit of a matriarchal society the females look after the cubs and they run the den and also the reason why they're bigger than the males is to protect the cubs because the males may often kill some of the youngsters if they do not belong to them so the females will chase and they are more dominant than the males they'll chase the males away but in this let's have a look over here I'll have a look and try to see if we can find out Abigail it looks like there's one female the one on the right does look like a female um, I'm gonna sit here a little bit longer let's head to Jamie who's got some rather large dung she'd like to show you <laughs> 